All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this is the uh, most recent Alliance War. This is uh, Hateful Eight going up against uh, Odin's Force. Um, so I'm on path three. There was no fight on the first node. Uh, so my first fight is going to be Morningstar. Uh, then I'm going to have uh, this core coming up after this. Uh, it's going to basically be a, a tale of two sections. Uh, the first section goes well. Second section goes horribly. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. Um, the first two fights are pretty simple. Um, I did a bunch of duels um, trying to uh, dex the special one from Korg. Could not do it. Um, so I was like, you know what, screw it. We're just going to block everything. Uh, this Morningstar fight's pretty simple. Um, so here's one thing that I'm trying to learn is uh, is what to boost, what's too much, what's not enough. Um, so I just start off 15% attack boost. This is mostly for Korg. Um, and 15% health boost, 10% attack bo uh, champion boost. So, you know, light boosting, I would say. Um, and this fight is pretty easy just going to be uh, doing full combos and making sure that she just throws a special one so nothing too complicated here um, this is psychic thorns so uh, name work kind of like bypasses uh, all that and whenever I throw uh, projectiles so his special three is actually going to heal me up a ton you'll see right here this is like perfect. So here we go, special three. And 1%. <laughs> uh, but it ends up killing her. Uh, so, all right, first fight down, not bad. Second fight, this was immediately after. Um, so we're gonna just play this one as, you know, close to the vest as possible. Um, just baiting out heavies and just trying not to uh, not to get obliterated here. So as you see here, I'm just turtled up, and we are just gonna go full five hit combos. Try and keep him uh, off of his special one as much as possible. Uh, you see here, just block it. Just play conservative. Uh, I do mess up a little bit towards uh, the end of this. We'll see. All right, so block this special one as well um, because I throw my special three when he has his rock shield up and do no damage. It was great. So here we go. Three blocks already of the special one. So right here. Yeah, he still had, uh, it looked like two or three rock stacks left. Whoops. So this is going to do literally nothing. All right. And here we go. We're going to activate Imperial Rex again. Did it matter? And special three, and he is going to be dead. All right. So section one, not bad. Here's where it gets ugly, guys. And boy, does it get ugly. Alright. So. We are here. So, we've got Path 3 in Section 2. So, we're up against Medusa. Um, Medusa isn't that difficult. <laughs> Just, uh. If you don't, uh. Don't completely panic and uh, basically crap yourself. Uh, so, all right, 10% attack boost, um, and then 10% champion boost. If I did a 20% boost, I probably would have been fine. I was trying to be cheap. Um, this was not good. Not good. So, plan is just go ahead and... Uh, I, was, I wanted to see what uh, five hit combo would get me to. Um, probably could have done uh, five hit combos the whole way and been okay. Um, Alright, so now she's got Living Strands up. 
just try to wait it out. I also don't want to try and block her special two. So we're just waiting it out. There we go. She throws it. Perfect timing. All right. So I've got seven charges left. She's at 50%. And we throw the special two, and it leaves her at 5%. Now I choke, and oh my god. So she's got special three. I'm actually stunned. I was so confused as to what happened here, um, why I couldn't get out of this special three. So I'm still stunned, you can see. And I just get comboed to death. Yep, that was fun. Uh, so if I would have just heavied her, I would have been able to kill her um, when she was at 5%. Because I parried. And uh, we would have been okay. We would have been totally fine. But instead, uh, we died. For no reason. Um, but, hey. You live and you learn. So, all right, we're just going to go in with Namor and finish this off. Nothing too uh, too complicated here. All right, so then the next fight is going to be a Wasp. Um, and the small champions have a, uh, a larger chance to evade. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up uh, Corvus. And I'm being cheap, too. That's, uh, that's another one of my problems. So I don't have a ton of glory because uh, I usually buy uh, Tier 4 Basics and T1 Alphas. And I'm trying to save units, so this is even more complicated. So, go ahead and pop an Alliance Revive, and look at this. We have nothing here. <laughs> nothing at all, uh, potions-wise. So, not good. Um, we are going to go to the, uh, the Glory Store, buy a potion. This is agonizing, because... I just don't have enough glory to do all this, and I really don't want to spend units right now. So we're going to hop back in, go back over, and we are not healing up a ton. So, boom, there we go. 6k potion into Corvus, and we're going in with 7,000 health. Probably isn't the smartest thing, because uh, one hit looks like it would probably kill me all right so just checking everything out here before we go in all right so here we go and I get super lucky watch this heavy right here whiff and we hit her thank God otherwise we would have just died again so uh, mistakes have been made uh, now I'm gonna just try and bait out the special one and just full five hit combo. Oh, actually no, because she has backup recovery. I waited it out. One of the few times I actually read nodes here. Uh, you'll see the next fight. We have uh, he eighteen twenty ninety nine, and we don't read nodes, so we die. So I wait for this Emma Frost to go down on buffet. I can't. I was like thinking about it. I was like, can I do this fight? Probably not the best idea. So, all right, and now we are up to the main event, the most fun we could possibly have here. Uh, so as you'll see, I don't read the note at all. It's actually immune to debuffs and special lock one, so can't really do a ton here. And uh, you'll see at the very beginning of the fight, I parry, and I don't realize that it doesn't stick. And uh, we get we get roughed up pretty good. All right, so ten percent of pack boost, and I think another ten percent champion boost. All right, so watch this right here. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, we're already in trouble. We go ahead and hit her with the heavy to start the uh, the timer. I probably could have done. Uh, actually, no, I shouldn't have done any more combo because uh, with flow, I would have really ruined uh, ruined everything. So here, here's where everything starts to go awry. Um, she's hitting into the block and she's hitting pretty hard. So now the digi cloak happens. She smashes me with the heavy. I still have 13 charges left. Uh, then I get hit. Couple more times now, a couple hits into the block, and boom. Not good.
good. Uh, so I think it's just a matter of me getting a, a better understanding of some of these fights, but uh, not, not, not good. Um, that was all for the Alliance War. Uh, I died twice. Um, it's just a learning experience going from uh, from fighting in you know like tier six to uh, slightly more difficult fights. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below if this is going to be fun for you guys because there's probably going to be a bunch of deaths. Um, it'll be a, uh, a learning experience for myself. Uh, this is actually like the second time that I'm watching this video and uh, just just face palm the whole time. Um, but uh, we actually did end up winning the war, so uh, we are currently uh, in the mid 200s for uh, Platinum 4. So not too bad, all things considered. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.